On NCIX Tech Tips today, we're going to be covering a topic that includes uh, dual graphics cards. So you can see here we've got the uh, SLI ribbon cable and we've got the, uh, the dongle that goes between the two graphics cards. I'm just joking with you guys. We're not covering uh, Pentium 2 and Voodoo SLI. Actually, we're going to be covering the brand spanking new EVGA GeForce GTX 295 video card. So here with me I've got the new EVGA GeForce GTX 295 video card, or I should almost say video cards because this is a dual GPU solution. It has two GTX series video card chips on it. Now you can see here the fan is very similar to the 9800 GX2. It has kind of a shroud, but what's a little bit different from any previous cards is it has a really cool matte black finish on it, which is going to look great in any case. Now at the front of the card you've got two DVI connectors and one HDMI connector, and then and on the back, you can see there's an EVGA logo that appears to be cooling some kind of uh, VRM solution. And it is a bare PCB on the back, unlike some of EVGA's last cards. Now, in terms of spec, the GeForce GTX 295 has 1792 megabytes of memory. It's 55 nanometer GPUs. It has a 448-bit RAM interface, and it has a clocks of 576 megahertz on the core and 2 gigahertz on the RAM. Now, it's starting to sound like two GTX 260s, but it's actually almost like a hybrid between two GTX 260s and two GTX 280s because it does have 480 stream processors, which is double what a GTX 280 has. As always with a top tier card like this, the question is going to be about performance. And from the previews that came out a couple weeks ago and all the reviews that are popping up already, it looks like it has retaken the performance crown for Nvidia and at a lower price than the competition. Also, another couple really important features of the GTX 295 are going to be that it does support physics. And that means that if you do run Quad SLI with the GTX 295s, which is supported right off the bat, you can actually allocate one GPU to physics processing and use the other three for graphics rendering. Very cool feature. Anyway, this has been our first look at the GTX 295 graphics card.